It's an absolute joy and privilege to bring the Methodist collection of art to Lincoln and to the cathedral. Uh, rightly, the Methodist Church is very proud of one of the finest collections of modern religious art in the country, and I'm hoping that it will be viewed by many, many people uh, during the course of the exhibition. The work in this collection that means most to me is Three Kings by David Jones. David Jones was a poet and a painter who, in 1921, converted to Roman Catholicism. He made this woodblock so you could print a Christmas card. It shows the three kings nearing the end of their journey to Christ. But it's worth remembering that though the kings are reaching the end of their journey, Christ is beginning his from the cradle to the cross. I really love from this collection is Dalit Madonna by Jyoti Sahi. I love it really for two reasons. Firstly, because it speaks of global Christianity. It's a painting by an artist who has um, a Punjabi father and an English mother. And it's full of the imagery of harvest because in India, Christmas time is at harvest time. So it gives you a different sense of Christianity around the world. It's an image of Mary and Jesus. And the title of the painting is really important. Dalit Madonna, Dalit is a particular group in Indian society, translates as the oppressed or the broken. It's a group of people who are right on the edges of society. And these are people who remind us of the people that Jesus really worked with during his ministry. I think that's particularly important because the Methodist Church is so focused on issues of social justice today. I really enjoy Eularius Clark's portrayal of the 5000. It's a contemporary scene and it's full of uh, colour and people are wearing 20th century clothing, eating not fishes and bread, but fish and chips. It reminds me that Jesus is not limited to history, but Jesus Christ is actually present in contemporary life and the present in the midst of gatherings of people, Christians and others, and to give life and model generosity. I'm Jonathan Kersley Cates. I'm an art historian based in London. I'm fascinated by the Methodist collection. It shows the diversity of modern religious art. And I think it has something to say to people of no faith as much as it has to people who are themselves Christian believers. The image that most fascinates me is a crucifixion by Terry Lee Elliott. In it, we see a crucified figure fused with the form of a tree. But there's also something else going on in this painting. There are strands of barbed wire, but also lead us to think that perhaps this is more than simply a crucifixion. Perhaps there's something here about war, or perhaps persecution. It gives the image a rather ambiguous quality, which I think adds to its disquieting nature. The colours are really interesting. The figure itself is this monochrome, black, grey and white, but behind is a background of yellow, but it's a rather lurid yellow, a rather sickly colour, which makes us think of death, I think, rather than more than life. My own favourite happens to be Eularia Clark, Storm Over the Lake. The painting depicts lots of people who are in different stages of distress and anxiety, some just keeping their heads above the water, some just sinking beneath, some clinging to others, some seeking to help others. There's a foot here, there's a hand there, there's a head being supported, and in the bottom left-hand corner there is Jesus blessing the lake, bringing peace and stillness to this period of suffering, and that's something we can all relate to in our own lives. Well, it's a great privilege for Lincoln Cathedral to host this exhibition of world-class art on religious themes. And it's marvellous that we can do so um, with our partners from the Methodist Church. It's a great gift they give to the churches of, of this county. To have it here is fabulous because it's a collection that has a huge variety, something that will engage and speak to 
all of the people who come and see it. And I think I'm really, really happy that so many people are interested to come and actually be introduced to the story of Christianity by engaging with these paintings.